flash drive and it plugs into my BBC micro and I just turn a switch, press a button, I'm playing Repton within seconds. <laughs> it sounds like when you say turn a switch, it sounds like you need to wind it up a little bit, get it going. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a game that you'd like to, a modern take on? Is there an old favourite that you think, actually, I would like, like, so for example, I don't know if you ever played Pac-Man Championship Edition on the 360. I did have a go. Uh, no, I played the one on the Switch. What was that? Pac-Man 1969 or something? Oh, that's Pac-Man 99. Pac-Man if you've 99. got a 360, then definitely, definitely give Championship Edition a go because that is a beautifully modern take on Pac-Man. It's so good. Um, Can I but tell it you? It's very different. One of the treasures. I got rid of all my gaming stuff years ago and then been buying it One of the treasures I had. So I went to, I was lucky enough to go to Japan and meet Toru Iwatani, the guy that created Pac-Man. Very strange gentleman, sweating a lot. And we had 12 people watching while I interviewed him just to make sure he told the story about it being a pizza, which I don't believe. <laughs> to get that interview, me and the production team, with me and, and uh, James Webin and, uh, and Simon, we, we had to go and sit in a meeting about 20 people, we had one translator, our translator, and about 20 people. And at the end of the table was the actual head of Namco, the boss of Namco. We had to do all the bowing. Oh, quite the boss, sorry, I thought just the head. I was sorry, <laughs> as much as doing this game, please. <laughs> and he wanted, he just wanted to hear the questions. And he, he and Toru Iwatani signed a copy of whatever that crap 3D Pac-Man game was that was out in the early 2000s, some crap right, right. thing. And it was signed by him. And I have no idea where that went. And I just oh, think, that is a killer. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember, I remember, because that was, you met him for Thumb Candy? Thumb, Thumb Candy, yeah, that was what that was. I, and yeah. I, uh, I mean, we watched that uh, together a couple of years ago now. Yeah. And uh, the one moment that really stuck out to me that made me feel like I'd been punched in the gut Thanks. was Shigeru Miyamoto <sighs> drawing a personalised picture of Mario on a whiteboard instead of a bit of paper that you could have pocketed he was doing he was doing the our cameraman as mario so it's mario holding the camera and um you know i felt so blessed that i did that i wish i'd treated him with more respect and i just wish i'd given him a bit of paper and said would you could you you know it was uh but it was <laughs> going in there that was a tough one to organize and we're sat in this really cold clinical room and then suddenly this it's like paul mccartney walking into a room you, this guy was is it like got, that at the time because i know he's like like obviously massive now but yeah. but back then he was as that oh, was Shigeru Miyamoto. It was, I mean, was. obviously it would be harder to get access to him now. And we, we were so oh, lucky yeah. we got it, yeah. but he came in and it's, it's, you know, you know, sometimes you're sat, you're sat in a room and someone with great presence walks in and you're not even looking at the door, but you know, someone has come in. That was him. Just this personality. He's, you know, really beautiful to look at, very well dressed, very his big smiley face and yeah. charming. Like really sincere charm. I feel, I, yeah, it was it was like McCartney or someone like that walking into it. It was wonderful, wonderful. I I, I love that man. <laughs> I really yeah. do. Every time you see him uh, on anything, he, it I just smile. I just grin from ear to ear. I, it's I the thought. childlike quality that he's always maintained. I think, and I think that's infectious to big kids like us. But. Yes. Is there a game series that you'd like to see a modern take on? Oh, that? sorry, that was a question <laughs> in there. Do you, um, is there? Um, do you know? Do you know what? I, I I think Defender is grossly. I think Defender is forgotten, right? And I yeah. would like something kind of defender based where it takes a second person to push a hyperspace button where you're kind of doing most of the controls, but there's one button that you can't reach and you've got someone waiting for you to go now. Are you ah, too slow? So, so kind of a, a, a new defender that has one button for, for the second person to press. There is, there, now, this isn't what you're describing, but have you heard of a game called, I think it's called Space Team for the phone. For the phone? Your phone. No, I've not yeah. heard of Space Team, no. There's this amazing game called Space Team, and yeah. I, I, we should really play it at some point, where you can get like four or five people in a room, each with a mobile phone. Oh. And the idea is that you're controlling a spaceship. Yeah. Um, but you'll have some controls in front of you, and then you'll have a panel that says, turn the Z toggle up to eight. And then you go, well, you haven't got a Z toggle. Who's oh, got the Z toggle? Turn it up to eight. I and like they've got that. to do it. But while that's happening, 
And by by like two minutes in, you're just all screaming at each other. I like that. You know, your task hasn't been done. We should. We I, should play I that. like that. That reminds me of that game. Um, I think you can play. It's, it's best on on VR where someone's dis- diffusing a bomb, and yeah, you've got the instruction booklet. Yeah. Um, it, uh, oh, what is it called? Quiet it's, or. Like quick or we all die or something like that we're, we're, like, yeah it's so it, it gets to i play it with my kids and then it gets to a point where it's just, the puzzles are just too difficult and I, i'm out yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's it, you, you're in a room with a briefcase and there's a bump right okay there's there's a green wire there's a yellow right there's the number seven and an upside down three okay right let me just let me just look at that oh i love it that's stuff there's like that brilliant great. youtube video of real bomb disposal uh people oh, playing it I'm and honestly down. it takes them about 10 seconds it's so that good. really yeah, I'm writing that just, down. They just I'm blitz that. through it. It's so funny. Like, oh, that's great! It just each instruction is just so well uh, thought out. It's, that's yeah, great. it's brilliant. That's worth that's worth watching. Okay, I how have are these quick fire questions going? <laughs> quick fire question for you. I need a new name for them. Um, if you could be a character, like if you could have appeared as a character in any video game, yeah, what would it be? I'd have been John Striker in Strikers Run. It's another BBC game you won't know that actually looks similar to Sim. And he's this soldier dude, right? And he's got, or just, it's just, you're just running a straight line. Again, I never got anywhere near, I saw a map of it, got nowhere near. You're running a straight line and you can chuck grenades, you can fire guns. Sometimes you can fly, heli- if there's a helicopter there and it's got fuel in, or you can have that. So yeah. You I, could get I, in the helicopter and fly that. Yeah, 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 you could. I just thought he was the coolest dude. There was a second game, Strikers Run 2, codenamed Droid, which I also like. But I would be John Striker, Strikers Run. Either that or Hen House Harry. You know Hen House Harry? <laughs> I do know Hen House Harry, yeah. He, Why do I know Hen House Harry? He's the Chucky Egg what? dude. Oh, of course. that's what the, Chucky Egg was a strange game, wasn't it? Have you played it recently? I haven't. No, Dude, no, it's great. It's still. <laughs> Is it still decent? Great. If my, if I, if we've been to a few retro events, my kids, if they see Chucky Egg, that's it. They're in. Chucky Egg really? is still a really, really good game. Yeah. That's that's pretty cool because I mean I haven't connected with uh, my kids with older games yet. You know they're yeah. all Harry's just starting to get into uh, Fortnite, which you know, um, you know got no choice about that. Um, uh, and and Charlie is, is he plays a lot of uh, Mario games. But I've not had a situation where I could say, oh, look at like Banjo-Kazooie or the games right. that I played when I was a kid. That you I mean you, recent games, is, I think, is what you're talking about there when you mentioned Banjo, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie. How long Banjo-Kazooie. ago was that? It's like five years, um, right? Well, no, yeah, no, that's fair enough. Um, but, uh, uh, but I'm trying to think of it. It's the probably about 25 years, Banjo-Kazooie, I suppose. Bomb, Bomb Jack. Bomb Jack. Bomb and, Jack. Uh, uh, what was it? Double Dragon I played with uh, my dad. It was one of the only games that I played with my dad. Um, but I, they look at them and they just go, no. So is there, have I got a chance later on no, to they won't, try they won't, that again? They won't give a toss. No, no. <laughs> they don't give a toss. You know, my, my kids, there are a few old games. Donkey Kong, my eldest loves Donkey Kong. My youngest is is really dug Centipede when he played it. Um, if we, if um, Choo Choo Rocket on the Dreamcast. If we've got that up, we'll have a game. We'll have yeah. a few games of Choo Choo Rocket. But then it's it's back to Fortnite. It's back to Fortnite. That's, That's all Valorant. Right. So, so I took Harry to EGX once, and um, I was like, they they have a whole like retro section. Yeah. And I was like, right, we are going to play retro games. We're going to no interest. Yeah. I sat for forty five minutes watching him in an expo with brand new games that weren't out and retro games yeah and he's playing minecraft in the middle of it and i'm like we've got this how can you not but i'm trying not to be on that your <laughs> recommendation we watched this year eight bit christmas the, the, the movie about a guy to I love that film. and my kids watched it they didn't they clearly didn't like it they were watching it because really? they could see that i was crying and i you know it was obviously <laughs> meant a lot to me and yeah. they were clearly bored by it and doing it out of a duty to me so yeah. Oh, they're slightly older, aren't they? Because my kids loved it because there's a lot of slapstick and puke jokes and stuff in yeah. there. Um, but that film, oh yeah, there's oh, it's about... a great film. I loved it. I, I was, you know, sons and dads, 1980s. Oh, I'm I'm in pieces from the very very start. Yeah, that end, that end, absolutely destroyed them. <sighs> yeah, Ian, thank you so much for coming on random access oh, memories this man. is i could sit here for another hour just i talking. hope that was okay i get uh you know i've enjoyed the the run so far and you've had such good guests on you had count bim face on <laughs> what's that about that was, that was nuts 
I mean, you know, sometimes when you have people on this show, you have a little track before you hit record, and there was no straight in with that one. Straight oh, in, he, it straight was really. Oh, I like, I like that. So, uh, you know, to be on with 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 that, and there's been a few other people. There was the the fast knife Freddy thing, whatever that was. There was Minder. I, I've really enjoyed listening to it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for asking me to come on. I appreciate it. No, no, thanks for coming on. We do have to um, uh, give a big shout out to our exec producers. Okay, uh, that's Mark Gidley. Um, Tim Nichols and Andy Goss, um, and why not? Why not shout out producers as well? Harsh yeah, Singh, Sam Hughes, Craig Hannon, and Martin Warren. There we go. Um, there we go. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for coming on. It was great ah, to see you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. That's the um, that's the rehearsal done. Should we? Uh, should we do it for real now? <laughs> you know what? I believe you as well. I believe you. CBFL. CBFL. <laughs>